Hey guys, Sandro here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. As the title of this video suggests, today is a look at Meguiar's Ultimate Compound and also a look at Ultimate Polish. In addition, I'll be going through their basic application, showing you the results and providing some tips along the way. Now just to be as clear and transparent as possible, for those of you watching this video who may not be familiar with what a compound is, why you should use it and what to expect it'll accomplish. A compound is really a more aggressive car polish. So if your car paint isn't looking its best and has a number of defects such as swirls, scratches and water spots, or is perhaps looking a little faded, then a compound has the ability to restore the paint back to its original condition a little more effectively than a polish, which is really less capable at addressing more prominent and obvious defects but is a little better at restoring shine. So compared to products like a wax or sealant, which are really used to protect and enhance the paint, a compound and to a lesser extent a polish are actually used to correct the paint before you protect and enhance it with a wax or sealant. For the most part, I do realize that I mostly focus on professional line products in my videos, as basically they're the main products I use on a daily basis. But at the same time, there's actually many great consumer-based products out there on the market. Now, Ultimate Compound is by no means a new product, as it's been around for many years. But it's a compound I've actually used extensively, and I've always had a bottle of it around ever since I first tried it. And this review has come about primarily for the fact that I do believe it's perhaps the best over-the-counter compound on the market, that can be bought at just about any local auto supply store. And also for the fact that it's another product I've had many questions about and have been asked to review. Now without getting too technical, but still trying to address a few questions about it that have come my way, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound is in fact a true car paint compound or polish. So in other words, it doesn't feel or hide scratches. It actually removes them as any true compound or polish does. And contrary to many beliefs, it doesn't contain any fillers or enhancers to mask the defects, but rather permanently removes them. Meguiar's Ultimate Polish was actually developed from their professional line M205 Polish. However, unlike Ultimate Compound, Ultimate Polish does contain, in my experience, some mild enhancers to help boost the finish of the paint. But unlike some other polishes out there, these additives are actually quite minor, so it does still in fact depend on its abrasives to actually correct the paint more so than filling or covering up the defects. As I'm sure many of you are aware, it's extremely important to always work on clean bare paint when you're compounding or polishing. I'll add a link to my video in the description box on how to prepare your car paint for polishing and waxing if you do want a step-by-step -step guide showing that process. And I'll just add that if the paint isn't adequately prepared, you may struggle in achieving the results you're after. Now just like any compound or polish, these can be used both by hand and machine polisher application. Overall, you will find it to be a far quicker and more effective process applying these products with a dual action polisher. But compared to many other compounds out on the market, Ultimate Compound actually works surprisingly well by hand, which again is due to its adapted formula that does make this compound quite a friendly, no fuss product to work with. You just need to appreciate that if the paint is extremely bad, then a hand application of this compound or any compound will be both limited and more difficult to achieve the desired results by a hand application as opposed to a machine polisher. So firstly, looking at applying it by hand and trying to keep the process as simple as possible for beginners, all you really need apart from the compound is a hand applicator 
which I would recommend the Meguiar's microfiber even coat pads, as microfiber tends to be far more efficient than foam when you're trying to remove more significant defects. Apart from that, you'll also need some microfiber cloths and also be sure to work in a well-lit area so you can see your results or have a handheld light to inspect the paint after you've compounded it. Now I realise that many of you trying this for the first time may be a little apprehensive or scared you may ruin the paint. But quite honestly, there's little chance of that happening as long as you understand some basic things that I'll cover as we begin correcting the paint. Always start by giving the compound a good shake and adding a few drops to your applicator. Spread the compound into a small section and then begin working it throughout that section in small circular motions. Now, as hand polishing does require more physical work than machine polishing, you do really need to add some decent pressure to your pad to achieve good results. And just as important is to work small areas no larger than a square foot or two at a time. It's important to understand that you're not so much applying the compound to the paint as you would a wax or sealant, as you are working its abrasives into the paint. And where most people go wrong the first time they work with a compound or polish is that they simply don't work that product in for long enough, or they try to do a whole panel at a time, which in reality is asking too much of that compound to be effective in such a large area. For best results, you need to spend a good few minutes in each section and do what is known as a few row passes, where you're going over the section with multiple vertical and horizontal overlapping lines in your circular pattern or application. Once you've completed your first section, compare it to the untouched paint to see if you have in fact improved or eliminated the defects. At that stage, if you're happy with how it looks, then simply move on to your next section and repeat this process throughout the vehicle's paint. But if you're not happy with the results and can still see quite a few scratches or defects in the paint, then simply repeat that process in that same section once again. Now the truth is that in most cases, Ultimate Compound can finish down surprisingly well, meaning that it has the ability to both cut or level down defects, as well as restore shine and gloss to the finish which does in fact mean it works quite well as a one-step polish or compound. But on more rare occasions where the paint itself is a little soft or finicky to work with, you may find that the compound itself has left some haze or dullness in the finish. In this case, what the paint is telling you is that it's more sensitive and will require a follow-up polish to restore gloss and clarity to the finish. This is when a product such as Meguiar's Ultimate Polish really shines, as it has finer or more gentle abrasives that have the ability to refine things like minor haze or dullness in the finish. In fact, even though it may not be necessary to follow up with this polish, if you are happy with the finish that Ultimate Compound achieved, you will find in most cases that Ultimate Polish will still be able to extract some extra gloss and shine out of the paint. Now, where a little more time and aggression is needed with the Ultimate Compound to achieve great results, you'll find in most cases that a less aggressive approach is needed with the Ultimate Polish to achieve the same great results. You'll also find that a foam applicator such as the Meguiar's works better with this polish, as it's able to create more gloss and depth in the finish. In essence, the application process is actually quite similar to Ultimate Compound. But the real difference is that in general, it's quicker and a less labor induced application. So you'll find that you can actually work slightly larger areas and ease off a touch with your pressure as you're no longer trying to remove heavy defects, but rather just refining the finish to extract as much gloss and depth out of the paint as possible. I'll also add that if your car paint is already in decent condition and all it really needs is a bit of a boost, then you don't need to necessarily compound the paint first and you can actually just go straight to the polishing stage to restore the finish. I'm going to add a link to my video of how to machine polish car paint for beginners in the description box for those of you that do wish to take advantage of the benefits of machine polishing but need a little more guidance in that area which is a great video to get you started on that path and also translates that information to work with any compound or polish such as these. 
In reality, the information I just covered in the hand compounding and polishing stages actually directly translates to machine polishing. The only real difference is that you use a machine to apply those practices. So in machine compounding, you would still work smaller areas with more pressure and more aggressive pads. While in the polishing stage, you would use a less aggressive pad with less pressure and work larger areas, at least in general. The truth is that machine polishing is not only faster, but also creates more consistent and elevated results. But I appreciate that not everybody wants to invest in a machine polisher or take the time needed to build their skills in that area, which is the reason that I also wanted to cover hand polishing in this video. Hopefully you can see that although the paint is by no means perfect, the difference is still quite dramatic and a massive improvement on how it looked originally. You just need to keep in mind that the hand polishing side took about 6-7 to seven minutes in that smaller section and the machine polishing side took closer to a minute or two. So as long as you appreciate that you're going to have quite a workout if you want to correctly compound and polish the paint by hand and set aside a good day or two, then you can certainly get there in the end. The next and final step would be to protect the finish. It's important to understand that a true compound or polish doesn't offer any protection to the paint. And when you wipe off the compound or polish, it's gone and doesn't leave any protective layer behind. So to ensure you preserve and protect that finish for as long as possible, it's important to add a wax or sealant to the paint straight after polishing it. Now, perhaps the most common question I've been asked about Ultimate Polish is how it differs and compares to Auto Gleam's Super Resin Polish. The truth is that they are two very different products. As mentioned, Ultimate Polish is more of a standard or true polish that only has mild filling or enhancing properties. Whereas Super Resin Polish has only very mild abrasive qualities and uses more prominent and increased filling and enhancing additives. Which one is best completely depends on your needs and wants. But as long as you understand how they differ, then you can decide for yourself which one will be best in your situation. Meguiar's Ultimate Compound truly is a fantastic product. And although it's been out for almost a decade, the truth is that it's still in my opinion about as good as a compound gets on a consumer level with predictable results, ease of use and great value for money when you consider the results it can achieve. I do hope this video was useful and helpful to some of you guys out there. As always, please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.